Welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a makeup tutorial on this smoked out black gel intense makeup. And I wore this last week to the NYX Cosmetics party. I've never got so many requests in my life for a makeup tutorial. And of course I was gonna do it, of course. Hello. But I figured it would be perfect for Valentine's Day because it's coming up in a few weeks. And like when I see this makeup, I'm just like, Yes, I'm ready for a Valentine's Day or even a date night, it would be perfect. But don't be discouraged if you don't have a date on Valentine's Day. I mean, even if you're hanging out at your house, having a girl's night, going to the grocery store, wear it, who cares? Because I don't know about you guys, but when I do my makeup, even if I am going on a date, I don't do it for that guy. Like I do it for myself because I wanna feel good and I get ready for myself and I feel like black smoky eyes look really intimidating because black eyeshadow can be really hard to work with. So I wanted to do this tutorial today to show you it's not that hard, I promise you not that hard, just takes a little bit of blending and you get it. Before we get into the tutorial, I just wanna say a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart to everyone who came to the NYX Cosmetics Valley Fair store opening and came to meet me and say hey and hug me and take pictures with me. Like, it was amazing. Like, you guys absolutely blew my mind. And I know I've said thank you a million times on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram, but I am just so grateful to have you guys in my life. I didn't expect the line to be that long and so many people to show up. Like, the line was wrapped around the mall like it never ended and it was wrapped around the mall for hours and you guys were like tweeting me saying you've been there since 6am and it just like like blew my mind and I'm so sorry I couldn't meet everyone that came like I was only set to be there a certain amount of time and then security made me leave because the mall was getting upset because I told you guys I didn't have a formal meet and greet. I was just doing an appearance and I said you guys could come and meet me and it literally turned into an Amanda meet and greet and I felt so bad because I know you guys had waited there and I told you to come but they literally made me leave. They're like you have to go and then I tried to take pictures with you guys when we were walking out and it was just like so much going on. I was so overwhelmed but I'm so happy for those of you that I got to meet. Like it makes me so happy to hear your stories and to talk to you and to hug you. And I feel like when I meet you guys, like we're already best friends. You don't understand how happy that makes me. And I, I love you guys so much. I'm just so thankful. I know I'm probably repeating myself, but I just wanted to say a huge thank you. Also, my mom wanted to say thank you too. She was so overwhelmed. At the end of the night, we're in the hotel and she was sitting there and she was like, I had such a good birthday, like thank you so much. And she's like, I can't believe all the people. And honestly, I've never seen my mom like that before, like just at a loss for words. My mom has never been at a loss for words. And I know she's really proud of me, but I'm really hard on myself and I just kind of always like brush it off. I'm like, yeah, okay, thanks mom. But it was just such an amazing trip for my mom and I. And I just wanted to say thank you before we got into the video and I can't wait to do more meet and greets. Um, if you have like a specific place you guys would like me to come visit, let me know down in the comments because I would love to start planning more meet and greets greets that are more formal because this is like another informal one and it just like it was insanity so um yeah let me know down in the comments but I really hope you guys enjoy this makeup look and if you want to see how I got it then just keep watching since this look is super dark I'm gonna take some scotch tape this will help me keep my edges really clean if you don't have tape you can always go in with a makeup wipe or makeup remover on a q-tip to like clean those edges but this is a really easy way to do it so I'm just going to take about this much and I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand and pull it off a few times so it's not like too tacky I don't want to like rip my skin off so first I'm gonna prime my eyes I'm gonna be mixing two different primers today I'm gonna first take the NARS primer which is amazing if you have more oily eyelids or if your eyeshadow tends to crease a lot this one is amazing and I'm also gonna take some of soft ochre from Mac right on top this is just going to cancel out any darkness on my eyes because my eyelids are a little bit darker. Make sure you wash your hands before you do your makeup. Um, I feel like it's something people don't often think about, but you need to wash your hands before you do your makeup because if you're gonna be touching your face, you can be more prone to breakouts if you don't wash your hands first. Since this is a really dark look, I'm gonna go ahead and underline the bottom of my brow. I always do that before I fill up my brows. It just makes it a lot easier.
So I'm gonna be using this new Morphe custom built eyeshadow palette. They just launched all of their eyeshadow singles and I just got it in the mail, so I wanted to use it today. I have a mix of matte and shimmer. Um, these are sold individually and they're, I think it's $2.29 a piece, but I also have a 10% off code. And then this is actually a Morphe magnetic palette. Look how beautiful, I've swatched some of them and they're super pigmented, so. I am going to use some of them today. So I'm going to start with this taupey brown shade and it's just called matte. I'm just taking a fluffy crease brush and I'm going back and forth. This is going to be our transition color. And I'm bringing it all the way down to the edge of the tape. It's okay if you go on top of the tape because we want the color all the way to the outer part of the eye. So now I'm going to take the Inglot Gel Liner. This is number 77. This is the liner I always use whenever I use gel. It is the blackest. It's like a moussey texture. And I'm going to be applying this all over my lid as a base for the black eyeshadow. You can use any kind of gel eyeliner that you want. I just prefer this one. You could also use a black jumbo eye pencil. I know NYX has some really good ones that are really affordable. So I'm taking a Morphe G13 to apply this. And I'm not gonna go too high up into the crease. I wanna keep this color lower because we wanna be able to blend this out and use some other brown shades for a transition. Like you want the black to fade upwards. I like to kind of push and flick it a little bit just to get an even coverage. So now I'm gonna take Noir from Anastasia. It's just their matte black eyeshadow, but any matte black will do. I'm taking a crease brush. I'm gonna pack a little bit on top of the base to kind of set it, and then I'm gonna go in the crease. And this is a little bit of a process. Um, you wanna take your time. We wanna make sure we get it all blended. So now I'm gonna take some of this color, this is called Smoke from Anastasia, and I'm gonna take a different crease brush and start blending right above the black. Then I'm gonna take a little bit more of that matte shade from Morphe and kind of diffuse it a little bit. So now I'm just gonna take off the tape. So I'm gonna wing out my eyeliner with the NYC Liquid Liner. I like this whenever I'm doing dark looks because I don't have to be extremely neat and this is just a really dark black liquid liner. It's really easy to use. So the hard part is done. Piece of cake from here on out. I'm going to curl my lashes and add some mascara. Have any of you guys been watching The Bachelor um, this season? I don't really know how I feel about it yet. So I'm gonna be using Lashes in the City from Velour. They're really full and wispy lashes. These are definitely the easiest lashes to apply because the band is so thin. 
and it's so easy to work with. So now we're gonna start on the rest of the face. To prime my skin, I'm actually gonna be trying something new today. This is the Smashbox Primer Oil, and this is actually supposed to keep your skin hydrated like long term if you use it. I think the box said four weeks. After four weeks, you see more hydration. Now I'm combination oily, but since I have been traveling and also it's been snowing where I live, my skin's been a little bit drier. It smells like something familiar. Maybe like eucalyptus. So I'm also going to be trying a new foundation today. This is the Maybelline Dream Velvet. It's a soft matte hydrating foundation, which most matte foundations aren't hydrating, so I'm interested to see how this works. I've been dying to try it since I bought it. I got the number 60 in Sandy Beige. It's like a whipped texture. And this is one of the darkest shades, so I was like, am I just seeing things? But honestly, this color match is really nice. I feel like if you don't use enough of it, the coverage is too light. Like, it's not one of those foundations like the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless where a little bit goes a long way. I feel like you definitely have to add more. So now I'm going to correct and highlight. I'm first going to take the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector, and I'm going to use this Morphe brush. This is the G17. I'm just going to apply this on the inner part of the eye where it gets darkest for me. Especially having black eyeshadow, it tends to cast a shadow downwards. So I love to use correctors under the eyes, especially when I'm using a dark smoky eye. I'm gonna take the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Concealer. This is the shade Medium 22, and I'm going to highlight the face. I'm gonna apply the concealer on the brush I used for the Becca corrector, and then apply it to the face. This is about a shade lighter than my foundation, so it's nothing that's too bright. I don't want a really bright under eye for this look. I want it to be a little bit more natural. So I'm going to bake and set my concealer with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is my favorite, especially for more glamorous looks. And if you want to know how I bake and contour in depth, I do have a video up on that. So to fill my brows, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. I'm still loving it. I use the shade Dark Brown. Now I'm just going to dust off all that excess powder. So now I'm going to finish off the eyes. I'm first going to take this YSL black eyeliner just to line my waterline. So I'm going to take this Zoeva pencil brush and this eyeshadow from Morphe called Stunner. It's a really dark charcoal brown and I'm just going to smudge out and smoke out that lower lash line. Then I'm going to go back to this matte color with a crease brush and bring the color down a little bit further. So now I'm going to do a little bit of contouring with the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. I'm going to be taking first this color and then mix in a little bit of this color. And then I'm taking this big tulip brush with the next color that's a little bit warmer just to blend it out and add a little bit more dimension. And then I'm going to bake right underneath of that contour to clean it up. Now I'm going to take Tarte Exposed Blush. It's a really pretty neutral pink color. And I'm going to take this Duo Fiber Blush Brush and apply it right 
over that contour. So I'm gonna be taking the Anastasia That Glow Kit for my cheekbone highlight. First, I'm gonna take Dripping in Gold and apply it, and then I'm also going to mix some of Sunburst. I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Highlight Brush, but I'm gonna spray some Fix Plus on it to get it a little bit wet, and it just intensifies your highlight. The way to apply these is to push your brush downwards, like, let me show you. So if you do like this, versus tapping, like when you go downwards, it picks up more product with this kit. So now I'm gonna apply some mascara to my lower lashes. I'm gonna take a little bit of this eyeshadow from Morphe called Glam Life. It's got a little bit of a shimmer to it and apply it right on the brow bone. So now I'm gonna take some Fix Plus and spray it all over the face. This just takes away any kind of powder, any cakiness, and it makes all of your makeup combine into one uniform layer. So when I did this look last week, I wore Kylie's Candy K with Makeup Forever 3C liner. So I'm gonna swatch these on my hands because I might use a different lip color. So here is Kylie's Candy K. It's a really pretty soft pink color. It's very flirty. But I also got some new lipsticks in, so I want to swatch them real quick to see how I like them. I have Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin. I've been dying to try it. Oh, this one's really pretty. This one's more of a nude color. It's right there. And then I also got the new Desert Suede from Dose of Colors. So I'm going to swatch this next to it. So here is Desert Suede Celebrity Skin and... Candy K. I don't know. I like them all. So first, I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Lip Pencil in the shade 3C. This is kind of like Spice from MAC, but a little bit more pink. So now I'm going to take Kylie's Candy K Liquid Lipstick and apply this all over for my lip color. So here is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel if you did like it. And until my next video, you guys can always catch me on my other social media platforms. I'm always on Snapchat, I'm always on Twitter, and I'm always on Instagram. So they're just at Amanda Ensing. Hit me up if you haven't. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye. I don't know, perfect for Valentine's Day. Like, hello. Mm -hmm. I do that, my nose always looks so crooked. Okay? Uh, excuse me. Not ladylike. No wonder you don't have a Valentine's Day date. Hello, highlight. Ooh, hello, highlight. Oh my god, I can't talk today. Rah. Ay, Dios mio.